All right, so for today's video notes, our topic is cell regulation, and we're going to be talking about how the cell regulates itself in the cell cycle. And so we're going to be taking notes on page 14 and 15 today. So on your essential question uh, line, please write, I can describe how the cell cycle is regulated. All right, so just to recap and review, why do cells continue to grow and divide? Well, for three R's, for three, uh, three reasons, they either repair themselves from damage, uh, tissues or cells. They might replace old cells or cells that aren't working anymore. And they might reprodu reproduce new cells if you're growing um, from like a child into an adult. And so if, if one purpose of the cell division is to replace cells, then what's happening to the other cells that are being replaced? Where do they go? What happens to them? Well, it's, it's a process called apoptosis. And apoptosis is essentially the process of programmed cell death. So once um, cells are triggered to undergo apoptosis, it's basically a controlled process where that's leading to self-destruction. And, you know, um, it is necessary so that you can get rid of waste and get rid of old cells, but it's also a key process in development, and specifically when you're developing um, as, a, as an embryo. And so tissues have to grow, but then they have to be broken down in order for, let's say, your fingers to grow from your hands or limbs in um, amphibians to grow over time. So they, there are tissues that grow, and then there's also t tissues that need to be, that need to be go, go away. So how do these cells know when they're supposed to divide? How do they know when they're supposed to go through cell division? Well, there are proteins that regulate the cell cycle. And the first type of protein is called an internal regulation protein. Basically, these are proteins inside of cells, and they check for things happening inside of cells to determine when the cell is ready to go. And a type of internal regulating protein that you need to know is called cyclins. Cyclins are proteins that are going to check the chromosomes, they're going to check to make sure they're replicated correctly, and then they're gonna to check to make sure there's all the other parts of the cell is prepared and ready to divide. The second type of proteins are external regulation proteins. They are proteins outside of the cell, and they direct the cells to speed up the cell cycle or slow down the cell cycle based off of what's going around in the environment uh, that they see. And so an example of external regulating proteins are proteins that are called growth factors. And growth factors are the type of external proteins that you would need to know. And they are really important with playing a role in healing if you have a wound or specifically development as well as you're growing. So there's these checkpoints. And so I want you to kind of think of the cell cycle having these checkpoints, and they're all controlled by the brain and hormones and these proteins. And so you think that we get to a checkpoint and you have a stoplight. And so your body is going to determine if it's green, yep, it's going to move on to the next phase of the cell cycle. If it's red or yellow, it's going to be um, saying, nope, pause, stay in this current phase, you're not ready to move on yet. Or it might mean you aren't going to be ready at all and we need to go through apoptosis because you're not a good functioning cell. So let's talk about these checkpoints and where these checkpoints are. The first checkpoint is uh, called G1 or growth one stage and this is allowing uh, to check to see that the cell is healthy, it's large, so it's having a difficult time moving things in and out of the cell and it's ready to move to the next phase. If you have a green light, go check if the internal cyclins and the growth factor proteins are checking and they say this is good, then you're going to move on to the S phase. If it's a red, then uh, it might need to grow a little bit more. It might need to make a little bit more organelles in order to be able to divide into two and be two new healthy small cells. Sometimes it's not um, good and they might be eliminated. There are some cells though that will be in what we call rest forever. They will be in something called a G0, a G0 phase and so um, they will never go past the growth phase. They will just remain that same type of cell and they won't ever divide anymore. And some examples of those could be some nerve cells.
All right, the second checkpoint, if you're green, good to go, is you're going to move on to DNA synthesis. Now, this is syn is a root word that means together. So it's basically assembling and making a copy of DNA. So this happens during S phase. And so they're going to check to make sure that the DNA has been copied correctly. And they're going to check and make sure it's all perfectly copied. And if not, it needs to be repaired. So if it's a green light go, this checkpoint's good. It's going to move on to mitosis. And if it's a red light, then it means it needs to repair the DNA if, there, if it can. And if it can't, it will be eliminated. The third checkpoint is mitosis. Mitosis is making sure everything is organized. The spindle fibers are uh, created, the centrioles are uh, functioning correctly, and they're all making sure that mitosis is working. If the green light is good to go, it's going to move on to cytokinesis. If there is a red light, there is no fixing at this point. The cell will be eliminated. If there are things that went wrong in mitosis, there's no going back from that. And so usually the cell is um, eliminated at that point. So then what happens if a cell just becomes uncontrollable? These checkpoints essentially think of that they are not responding to the signals. They're not responding to the stop light. Instead, they are running the red light. Even though the cell is saying, stop, you're not ready to move on to the next stage. What happens? Well, this is what we call cancer. Cancer is when the proteins are not regulating the cell cycle and they are ignoring those checkpoints and they're just growing uncontrollably. And so what could have caused this? Well, maybe the proteins, those cyclins or those growth factors are mutated. If they're mutated, then that means they're not functioning properly. They're not going to uh, regulate correctly. It's going to be disrupted. And you might see then uncontrollable growth. And that's what cancer cells are. They're uncontrollable growth of cells that do not stop growing. And so some mutations, um, can it cause maybe an overproduction of regulatory proteins? And so it just basically accelerates the cell cycle even farther, regardless of the stoplights. Like I said, they ignore them. And so when we say the proteins have been mutated, when we say that, well, what could cause mutations? Well, sometimes they're completely spontaneous. We don't know what caused a mutation in those proteins to not work, but it doesn't work. Sometimes it's a defective gene. Sometimes the DNA that made that protein was incorrect or faulty or defective and so it made the protein mutated did not work sometimes it's environmental influences that causes proteins to get um, mutated like the sun the skin the sun can cause uh, proteins to um, be damaged and then you could get skin cancer or you know smoking is an environmental uh, influence that could cause proteins to become mutated and then they don't work and then you have lung cancer and so when we have types of cancer cells that aren't responding, they can keep growing and dividing, growing and dividing. And uncontrollable cancer cells can lead to forming tumors. And tumors are just masses of cancer cells. And so you can have two types of tumors. You can have a benign tumor, which means it's a tumor that is not spreading. And you can have something called a malignant tumor, which means it's invading and destroying surrounding tissues. And so the malignant tum tumor is the types of cancers that are um, that can spread and cause more cancer around your body. And so that's what the word metastasized or metastasis means, is when cancer cells move and they go in a, a cell or two breaks off of your tumor, goes into your blood vessels, and then travels down and can travel somewhere else into the body and form another tumor in a different spot. And so here's a picture of just a cell. These are just cells. And this one right here seems to not be responding to the checkpoints. And so it begins to grow and divide, grow and divide, and now it's formed a tumor. And the tumor has gotten so big, it's close to the blood vessels. And so one of those uh, cancer cells in that tumor goes into that blood vessel, and now it's going to be metastasized, and it's going to travel and go maybe potentially um, go and be another tumor somewhere else in the body. All right, so the cures for cancer. How can we cure cancer? Well, what are, what are scientists looking at? What they're doing is they're trying to prevent cancer from uncontrollably dividing. And so what they're trying to do is they're trying to stop the cell cycle. We're trying to find research that can tell the cell to stop at those checkpoints and to stop 
working and to stop moving on to the S phase and stop moving on to mitosis. And so that's the types of research that they're trying to do. And then they're, with chemotherapy and radiation therapy and other drugs, they're trying to get the cells to stop dividing. If they can stop dividing, then they can stop the growth of those tumors and then potentially helping it not become malignant or metastasized. And so don't uh, forget that um, cancer can affect multicellular organisms. So humans are not the only ones that have cancer. So can animals, so can even plants. Here's examples of some tree tumors and some plant tumors that can also be a part of um, affecting um, other organisms as well.